Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel back. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider uh, liking and subscribing to this channel. And also, uh, if you have any questions and comments, you can uh, write them down to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is my first time making Kadusha's coil. And this is it. As we can see, it's made of wire which goes one way, goes around and returns the other way to down. And I made it almost all coil is made of uh, the same wire. And uh, I have it had this secondary coil. And also I have primary coil made of one, two, three, four turns of 1.5 millimeter unisolated copper wire. The transistor is here, let me show you, it's BD819, uh, it's not BD, it, it's K and uh, 819B. Uh, it has uh, three outputs, uh, from uh, right to left, because it's turned upside down, is base, collector and emitter from right to left as you can see right from right side to left we have base collector and emitter emitter is negative uh, on base I have a resistor uh, which is 10 kilo ohm and then I have, uh, between resistor and the coil I have a wire uh, between resistor and transistor I have a wire for the secondary coil with this connection and after it I have a capacitor which goes to the emitter and uh, a wire after the resistor goes to one side of primary coil and from collect collector that's middle pin I have a wire that goes to the other side of primary coil and that's positive terminal and negative is emitter so this is how you make KT819B It's very exciter. Okay, you can see my coil is pretty big It's my first time making Kadusha's coil uh, The lines are going in circle and they cut on the, right, on the, on the right angle They return on the right angle Okay, let me show you that this works. Okay, I turn on the power. The frequency is 476.746 kilohertz. And also, uh, if you turn this probe oscilloscope into kilohertz range, into 100 kilohertz, let me show you the frequency. The frequency is 23.315 kilohertz and isn't much oscillating. Uh, this one bandwidth and if you turn it in the, into four, me, uh, 4 megahertz range the frequency is 476.91 kilohertz okay that's with this primary coil okay uh, okay now I replace the primary coil with a larger one primary coil let me just adjust this. It's uh, wider in diameter, and when I connect the plus to plus and minus to minus, you can see the frequency is the same. The coil doesn't light up.
it draws 0.36 amps of power okay now I return the first primary coil I made I connected the positive terminal now let me just connect the negative terminal Okay, draw 0 0.32 amps and the frequency is the same. So this is my Kadushus coil, Kadushus coil, this coil, the frequency is stable, this coil should emit a longitudinal or scalar wave or magneto magnetoscalar wave. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and peace.